You might want to take a seat for these next miniatures. Hey everybody, I'm Rob Dieserling. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get some chairs painted for Hero Quest and in the simplest way possible. Using a little Zenithal highlight can go a long way on this furniture. So let's get to the table and start painting. Alright, so I started off with a matte black primer and then moved into a white Zenithal from an airbrush because I really want to have this really cool effect on these chairs and I want to see also like the Zenithal sometimes really works great uh, to me it works great and now you might say in the past where you said well, whatever lots of details you should slap chop well this one doesn't have a ton of details and I wanted it to be as normal looking as possible and sometimes with uh, slap choppy or grisaille and all that it's not getting the effect you always want right but for this I really wanted the chairs to look almost realistic and just making them really royal and we're starting off with the carmine dragon on the cushions of this and I forgot to do the back part of it completely on camera I noticed it when I was doing the other color so I came back and I added that red later on uh, this second throne and by the way these aren't chairs they're thrones is actually from the mage in the mirror expansion so this is from a different one the first one was from the core set there are two thrones I don't think I have more than that I don't, I'm not even sure I might but I'm not sure and I found this one had this, I found this, I don't know if it's online or if it's actually in Hero Quest. I don't remember where I found the picture of this, but I found that the throne looked cool with these colors. So this one is your basic wooden throne with uh, the red cushion and the brown entourage kind of thing or the brown, um, for the brown wood, right? But the next one is going to be pretty interesting. And again, as you can see with the Zenithal highlight, even in the cushion, you can see where the creases are. It stayed dark. And yes, speed paint is supposed to create your light and dark anyways and go in the recesses and darken it out but I find it doesn't always do that it if you slap on a buttload of speed paint then yes it's gonna get into the nooks and crannies and maybe create some darker areas because it's gonna have more paint in it but then sometimes you're gonna also I find you're gonna lose some of those details because you're slattering on so much paint that it's just getting stuck inside those nooks and crannies whereas when you do a zenithal highlight you get that beautiful effect right off the top and especially if you're doing it from right above and you're not trying to do too much of a 45 degree angle which i tried not to do on these chairs um it was just fun to paint these and it's so simple uh i'm gonna be coming up with a video real soon too how to get into miniature painting by using furniture and i've got a whole lot of furniture from hero quest that's waiting to be painted and I'm going to do a video on that coming up real soon. So if you are new to the channel and you want to learn about that, please hit that subscribe button. Join now and you'll be able to see these videos coming up in the future. So here's where I was saying that this next chair, this thrown here from the Mage in the Mirror, uh, is going to be very different because I'm using Hoplite Gold. So again, a speed paint metallic. But with the Zenithal highlight, it does a great job. I find some people out there are like, well, it just covers it. I still find there is a shadow effect. You can still see in the details uh, and I did the whole thing in gold like I didn't even do that back cushion in green because I found I was like no you know what there's no back cushion on this one this is just part of the whole tree or the whole tree the whole throne uh, throne and uh, it's just gonna be detailed it looks really cool although I do have to say that the green I used um, uh, which was the forest sprite wasn't dark enough so I came back with a second coating on it and then it made the cushion look a lot better you'll see that in the photo at the end and in the rotation you'll see that the cushion looks a little bit darker because I came back a little, little spotty with just the regular one coat so as you can see there I put on a second coating it comes out looking really cool these chairs look amazing and it's fun to have a painted board game right folks anyways I hope you enjoy hit that like button and if you're new hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all in the next one